How Jarl's taking it? Not well. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Scott. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? I thought I hated the Kep before. Then we learned about exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. How did he keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Ryder. Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. It kills me to think about it. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it.
Hi there. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. say about that facility on Vault? There will be. But maybe not right now. I get you, pal. Inane chatter about nothing coming up. from Ephra regarding Aksul are worrying. I don't understand how the Rokar manages to recruit so many. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Hey, Pathfinder. Sorry, not much time to talk. What's going on? Lots. It's the outposts. Or, you know, lack of them. So many people counting on us to keep the initiative supplied. I hear that. Should be job one, or close to it. We get enough outposts, maybe the Nexus loosens up and we can start living. Just checking in. I wanted to ask about you. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? Tell me about your friends in crisis response. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't tell anyone what they did. Stealing the shuttle for the car was above and beyond. Dondi, Base, Mazzy, Noel, Cap, and goddamn Hammond. <laughs> the best people when buildings have fallen down. Eventually, I'll have to start a new branch here, you know? I promised. I have to know about the car. We'd wrench on it as a family. Mom suggested it. And Dad liked a happy mom. That's how I fell into mechanical stuff. Armor and jump jets. Mom wasn't a fan of the second part. You know how it is. I worried my parents from time to time. That's a kid's job. I probably crossed the line a few times, though. Like jumping a galaxy. That's why I have to make this work. If I don't, then Andromeda was a mistake. I said goodbye to too many people to let that happen. We'll talk later. I know it. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do. It turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. 
Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Hey, kid. I saw Spender earlier. He was talking to Kesh's assistant. That scrawny little assistant of hers, Dal. She sure doesn't like him either. It looks pretty tense, as conversations go. He's a bully with power. It's only a matter of time before he does something that'll put the Nexus in danger. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. We can talk more later. Sure. Hello, writer. Exploring the Exaltation Facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons, and no not will be destroyed. That's a fair description of Exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it, destroys it. I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. So, Kalu, who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's... complicated, Subi. Gil? O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil? I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It's been amazing. 
and Garin expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. I take it you work closely with the Nexus Science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good.